Right, hello there, Price family. Here we are at uh, 23180 Piney Creek in uh, Kingbreak Golf Course Subdivision. And uh, let's take a peek around. Here, uh, I was uh, not impressed with everything about this house, but I think it's got some great features. A, a couple negatives we'll talk about as we go through. But let's start by taking a peek around our surroundings and uh, across the street. This is a great neighborhood. I've, I've done a uh, handful of houses in here over the years. Uh, and I have always been a big fan of this neighborhood. Decent resale, though I will say we're, uh, we're a good bit west. We're pretty much near downtown Athens, and I think uh, sales are a little suppressed in this area compared to Huntsville. Let's take a look at the uh, backyard. Coming down the right side of the house here, uh, you'll see this is the neighboring property. Uh, it's in fairly close, but as you will see here, uh, no windows right up on each other uh, in this section of the neighborhood. You do have some upstairs windows looking onto your house, but none on your side. Uh, this is, I believe, if I recall correctly, the fourth hole uh, for the golf course that we're looking at over here. Nice view. The lots are not super huge. This is about a one-third acre lot. Okay, and you're looking at the rough here uh, for hole four. And we are right about uh, on the property line right here, just into the uh, tree line, uh, barely. All right, and here is the backyard. Since this is a golf front home, you will see here, uh, not really wrought iron, but a wrought iron style. Uh, it's actually aluminum uh, uh, fencing that's being used, forgive me. Uh, dog run runs right up against the other property, tied in, and these open fence styles are required. Uh, on the golf front and you'll see next door you could fence in the entire yard if preferred uh, but you'd have to use that open view style fencing back porch and outdoor living area sizable a good bit of it under roof large amount of it open inside of the dog run you'll see here another uh, deck area or rather than a raised patio we have a deck I should say the other is uh, cement, and uh, you'll see that this door goes in here to uh, what I would refer to as the third bedroom. You can't really see in there, sorry for that awful shot, but this private deck is off of what I would call the third bedroom. We are in the entryway, gets you kind of a view of the uh, turn in coming from the driveway. It's a you know, we talked about the uh, garage a little. It is a two-car, and I think it's a fairly small two-car in my impression of the space. Here is the uh, entryway, which I like very much. And you come into the foyer. You're looking directly into the family area. Off to our left is the formal dining. Forgive the shakiness, sorry. Off to the right as you come in down the hall is the master suite and a half bath for guest use. All right, through the family room, out to the uh, porch and outdoor living area that we looked at. That's the raised patio, really in here to the hearth room and you'll see these nice built-ins by the fireplace and a pretty traditional basic kitchen uh, nicely finished i think uh, really nice granite with these uh, beveled edges uh, kind of a standard grade sink no upgrade with the fixtures there uh, and stainless steel good quality uh, appliances uh, high-end it's Maytag, but it's their upper end uh, products that are in here. Decent amount of counter space for a smaller kitchen. Built in pantry uh, with pull out shelving. You'll see here. Larger 
airspace up top. No adjustable uh, shelves in there, but uh, if you can see with the lighting, it's pegged uh, for shelving if need be. Nice uh, tiled backsplash, a tumbled marble. Uh, will require a little more maintenance. It is a natural stone. Nice look. Coming over here to the uh, hearth room. Lots of natural light in this house, which I do like about it. The floors and the woodwork are uh, quite well done. This uh, built in here with slide back doors for your entertainment area and adjustable shelving above and below. Again, the shelving not being there, but it being uh, built to take adjustable shelving for whatever electronics you have in there. And uh, give the shakiness. I uh, apparently need to work on that. We've got electrical inside. And again, coming through the dining room. This is the hallway to the second and third bedroom kitchen. View back towards the dining room. And let's come back here towards the bedrooms. It's a much better take there. Here's the laundry. Here's one of the negative features. Well, one of the positive first off is I think all of the, uh, the built-ins and the continued hardwood flooring throughout. Uh, as you come out here to the garage, as I said, it's kind of a compact garage. And uh, as you walk out, you're walking smack dab into this uh, garage door opener trail. Stairs down into fairly compact. I think it's uh, large enough for a, a decent sized truck, but maybe not a huge one. And then you got a little bit of storage back here. And that's it for the garage. Coming back in through the laundry room from the garage, we take a peek at our second and third bedrooms. Very basic. Really quick, easy look. Okay. Let's look at the closet space here. Nice, uh, fairly standard walk-ins. You'll see small hot water heater servicing the second and third bedroom. Here you are. It's a Jack and Jill style bath. I don't want to call it really a Jack and Jill since it's uh, a single bath rather than a bath and a half, but servicing both bedrooms. <coughs> Here we are back at the entryway for a quick look at uh, orientation and uh, the master bedroom. I want you guys to get lost in the floor plan by chopping it up too much. But you'll see, I, uh, I really like the master suite design in this house. Uh, it's very large, plenty of room for a king size and additional furniture. And you'll see, not only is it expansive, but very nice layout to both the his and hers walk-in closets. And you can tell that a decent amount of thought has been put into these. maximizing storage space. Although I do believe that the hers closet is not quite as well thought out as the his remarkably, but this is clearly the hers just basing it on the, uh, the functional dress storage length area. Uh, but good quality uh, organizational. In here, in the bath, nice and open, plenty of walking space. Very nicely finished out. Uh, I like the use of uh, wood throughout the house. Nice tile backsplash. Separate sinks and prep areas for your day. And fabulous shower. Walk in, multiple heads, traditional shower layout rain shower layout over here, separate controls, lots of space, bench, and it's actually got a fan in here, which I like. 
because many of our showers in this area, they do not include the exhaust fan. Uh, the one funky negative. It's really nice that you have this big 65 gallon water heater servicing only this section of the house, but that is a very, very funky closet design to uh, utilize for that. All right, final take is the upstairs area. Hardwood risers. Uh, I don't know what I think of this design up here. It has positives and negatives. I'm not sure that two smaller rooms was the best design option. However, it does allow these rooms to be used as a fourth and fifth bedroom as well as office space or craft room, gun room. I, mean, I could see putting a safety door on one of these larger closets and making it an ammo closet quite easily. <coughs> uh, I think a larger room might have facilitated more options, but maybe this is a great breakout for you guys. Only you will really know the answer to that. This is the uh, bath upstairs. <coughs> and that is our tour.